Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back for 2021 with, whoa, unfortunately a shocking and really sad story today. But before we even get into that, I want to say Happy New Year to all my subscribers, Happy New Year to all my followers, to all my supporters, Topical Juice heads, my juice heads. I hope you lot had an amazing Christmas. I hope you lot had a nice New Year's. You know what? Let's just get straight into this. Please subscribe uh, to your boy Cam. If you're new, please hit the bell to be notified because I drop videos randomly. I don't really have a structure. I drop videos consistently and randomly. I could drop it at 10 p.m. or 1 a.m. You never know, or flipping 10 a.m. So hit the bell to be notified when I drop videos. Like the video and let's get into it. So if you haven't seen, unfortunately, a 13-year-old boy named Oliver Stevens, known locally to his friends and family as Ollie, has sadly passed away in Reading uh, yesterday. Now the cause of death appears to be, it's a murder, it's a murder investigation. So unfortunately, Ollie died due to stab injuries. A couple of YouTubers that I subscribe to have done a story on this, but both of them, because they're more news related, like news kind of based, they're very careful or very skeptical not to assume or make assumptions based on what we've seen on social media. The media reports only show that a 13 year old has died due to stab injuries and four to five 13 and 14 year old people have been arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to, to murder. The reason why I'm doing this story is because of what has come out on social media. The story behind it. Again, people are very careful not to, oh yeah, I don't really want to spread false information. I personally am not a news channel. I am a social commentary, like a commentator, whatever you want to call myself. I, I, just, I just come on here and talk. So I'm not going to be pigeonholed really. I, I, you know what, forget, forget I even said social commentator. Forget I said that. I'm just Cam and I talk on whatever the hell I want to talk on. So I'm going to talk on what's been said on social media. I'm going to talk about the rumours that have been going around about surrounding the sad death of, of Ollie. The alleged story is, now I'm going to, this is all alleged, yeah? I ain't trying to get sued. This is all alleged. Now the alleged story is, right? This 13 year old boy's girlfriend now is, it's around, it's, it's, it's basically to do with her and a couple of other people. Now, I'm gonna put a screenshot on screen right now. I do not know if this is 100% true, I'm not saying that, but this is what the story, this is what's going around on social media. So this is a message from, the, from Ollie's girlfriend at the time. 154 pound, they are up for grabs. My BF, so my boyfriend has been pissing me off lately and yesterday he shouted at me for sending news to someone else. So I want to set him up to get robbed or stabbed, but not killed. So just stab him in the hand or something to teach him a lesson. I'll bring him to the destination for you to do it. Snap me if you want to do it. Need it done this week. As I said, I don't know if that's true and I don't know if that's confirmed, but there's nothing I hate, or there's, 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 there's not many things I hate more in this world than a set up chick. Girls who set people up to get hurt and or injured or whatever, or pretend like they're meeting them for a day and then all of a sudden they get ambushed by opposite gang or whatever. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Those type of people there are scum. Re you really are bottom barrel. You're the lowest form of human being. Setting setting another human being up, setting a trap for another human being up to, and, and eventually losing his life. Now, if this is true, you deserve to rot in hell for, for a, a hell of a long time. The, all the people involved in this deserve to rot in hell for a hell of a long time for this. Do you want to know something more shocking? The, the, girl's, the girl's reaction to being called out. So this girl has gone viral now. Her Instagram has been leaked, leaked, leaked. If you go on Instagram and type in her Instagram username, there's about 50 different usernames because people, people at that age, they're all young. They're all 13 and 14 year olds. Bear that in mind. So you're going to get all these 13, 14 year olds creating fake accounts and it just gets all toxic. Like It's really poor. Even the fact that there's about 50 fake accounts with this girl just goes to show the generation these, these kids are in. Oh, just, just fake accounts here and fake, just all these 13, 14, it's pathetic. Anyway, this is the immediate response of the girl. As you can see on your screen, it says, funny how I'm going viral now. Fuck the haters. Now, if you look at that Instagram, that Instagram does still exist. However, all the posts are deleted and a new account has been, has been created. So this girl has stopped using this account and she's created a new account. And you can tell what one the new account is because it has around 7,000 followers. And her old account before it got, de before it, whatever, she deleted it or whatever, or not deleted it, deleted the post from it, it had 10K. All the rest of them have like 50 followers and 
10 followers and one follower, all just fake accounts. But this one's got 7,000 followers and it's locked, it's private. So that's the one I'm putting my money on is the one that she's now re recreated. But on her old profile, that's, that is her, that's her first reaction. Now again, I don't even know if this is confirmed. Social media is very fast and, and Twitter investigators are very clever, are very speedy. So I'm gonna, uh, and considering this account had 10,000 followers and not many following, it looks like it's a real account. So I'm gonna believe that she actually posted this. Now, that's just a girl. That's just a setup chick, 13, 14 year old. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about the fact that she sent someone else nudes allegedly. So she cheated on her boyfriend, got called out for cheating on her boyfriend and then murdered her boyfriend or got or, or, or inadvertently got her boyfriend murdered. But let's look at the one who actually did the killing, who allegedly did the killing. Because I'm going to say allegedly, because like I said, social media, you, you do realise here, yeah, when when criminals are under 18, you, you don't, they don't release their names. You do, you, people know that, innit? Or, or if you didn't know that, I'm telling you. So I have to be very careful about spreading false information, but I'm still going to take that risk because people need to hear this story. I'm go, Again, I'm a logical guy. I'm going to bet my money that the person who people are saying it is, it is, yeah? Let's look at your screens right now. This is the alleged killer. So you can see he's a white youth, 13, 14 years old. He looks like he's throwing up gang signs. Uh, you know, if you know, again, if you know about, uh, if you know about gangs and things like that, if you, if you, if you, if you hold a sign up, say, say that's a gang sign. If you hold a gun sign, that, that means you're, that means you're killing them. That's killing the ops. You know what I'm saying? If my ops were repping W and I'm like this, that's killing the ops. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, yeah, what business does this youth here? have throwing up these signs and this is what i'm saying like the generation yeah these lot are lost these lot are lost look at the length of the of the knife he's wielding on his little scooter <laughs> have a look at this video here hey listen he's dumb out you i'll fucking kill you fam i'll fucking end you watch I, I, if you're on badness yeah if you're on badness yeah? hey listen I'm coming outside your school tomorrow. Be there. Have your shank and we'll see where I'm going. I lived in Reading for three years. I went to university in Reading. I can say firsthand, Reading is not on badness like that. Reading is a quiet town. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got, every town's got crime. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear no Reading local say, yeah, no, but, uh, uh, no. Yeah, Reading, yeah, everyone has crime. Everyone has poverty everywhere. That's just everywhere. Even the richest towns have poverty somewhere. Reading is not known for its violence. There is not often murders, especially knife murders, stabbings in Reading. It's rare. I don't like it is. Now you can talk to a few locals. They'll tell you, oh yeah, Oxford Road. Yeah, Oxford Road. That's like people wanna, uh, bro. I was walking down Oxford Road at midnight. You know what I'm saying? 18 years old when I got to university. Like I was walking down Oxford Road getting food at late. I was boxing down Oxford Road in, in first in first year. Coming from London and then seeing seeing things. Doesn't matter where you live. You can live in the suburbs or you can live in the inner city. You see, if you if you're if you got if you hang around certain freak people or you're just dealing with certain things, you're gonna see certain things. It's just the way London is. Coming from London to Reading, minor, absolutely minor. So this is why it's doubly as shocking. This story is crazy. Like they don't gang in Reading. So what what ops are you beefing? A lot of people are now saying. It's what, especially this is a, this is what white people do. Unfortunately, not not again. Not, when I say white people in my videos, I don't mean all white people. I just mean it's, ignorant white people will say yeah that this is drill. This is the consequence of drill music or or whatever or, or black music. Essentially, it's the consequence of that. This year is is bollocks. These kids are purely purely misguided. It's that simple. Their parents need to they need to look at their parents in one of those pictures. Yeah. The kids that you see the you see the picture where he's like this and he's got the scarf, he's got the scarf round. If you're if you're if you're perceptive enough, the TV screen had GTA on it. So is GTA to blame for him wanting to go around stabbing innocent, innocent kids? Is it a game? Because in that game you go around shifting people up. In that game you go around shooting people up. Is the game to be is the game to be blamed, or, or is it the music to be blamed? At the end of the day, it's, it's bollocks. Games do not kill people, yeah? Music does not kill people. This, the, thing is about, the thing is about this demographic of ignorant white people, these ignorant white people hate to take responsibility, unfortunately. If it's a 13-year-old black kid who's murdered people, it's, ah, oh, here we go. 
it's black, it's, it's these blacks again, blacks are always doing violent crime, black on black, this, that and the other, X, Y, Z, and you know, animals, animals, animals. Now, it's a white kid, it's a white kid in a town that isn't really known for stabbings, and, and you know what I'm trying to say, and their victim's white. So, what happens then is you then look at, you, you start look at what's the next best thing? Okay, we're, we're not going to take responsibility for, I don't know, our own parenting or things like that. We're going to blame drill music. So we're going to blame the music that the kids listen to. Okay, then if it's the music's fault, why are you listening? Why are you letting the kids listen to them? There, there has to be an element of responsibility when it comes to this. And it's not down to music. Because when you talk about drill, these drill artists, for example, who they're talking their reality. They're talking their reality. So if your reality is getting groomed into gangs at 13, 14 years old because your mum's a drug addict and your dad did a run up because of the hardships of reality, the hardships of what it's like for a lot of people in the city. They're talking their reality. Their reality, unfortunately, is crime. So you've got kids talking their reality, reality, reality. Then you've got some kids in flipping Reading, Bournemouth, Plymouth, wherever the hell you want, where criminal ain't, criminality ain't like that. Listen to this music. Okay, so if it's the music's fault, why are you letting them, letting them listen to it? for one. And secondly, these kids cannot even relate to that. These kids in Reading cannot even fathom what it's like, like it, it, in, the, in the city like that. Again, of course there's crime, yeah, you got people, whatever. I don't care if, if, there's, what you, if what you think is crime in Reading, it ain't nothing like London or Manchester or Birmingham, it's nothing like that, or Liverpool. These cities are really are, are, are about it. So there is no direct correlation to, to, between white kids in these towns listening to drill. And like, there's no way they can get inspired to murder. They don't have ops. You know what I'm saying? They don't have, they don't bang for, they don't, they don't bang for um, a block. They don't have drug dealing territories or actually they might, they might, they might trap. Okay, they might sell drugs in territories and beef like that. But other than that, it's not a culture of ganging out there. So ultimately, yeah, it's a joke. Like before drill, it was gangster rap. Before gangster rap, it was, it was grime. What, what a lot of people in the US or UK and you know traditionally white countries, they always want to shift the blame to, it, it's unconscious bias, you want to shift the blame to um, black people essentially. This kid is misguided, these kids are misguided. I don't know what the answer is, but you need to be looking at the parents. In what realm yet can a 13 year old white kid from Reading be getting a samurai sword or off the cuff? I just want to say yeah that Music is not to blame for murders of black kids like Charles Manson and what was the other Radcliffe, Sadcliffe, or the, 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 the Yorkshire Killer. They used to listen to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Like rock and roll. Or who was the guy that killed um, the guy from the Beatles? Didn't he? Didn't he watch? Um, didn't he read a book to kill a mockingbird? Was it to kill a mockingbird? I wasn't to kill a mockingbird. It was um, something right. Something right. Right. Wasn't to kill a mockingbird. It was that book. That book. Right. And then uh, apparently the, the person who read that book was uh, inspired to kill John Le Lennon from the Beatles. It's all bollocks. These people are, you have to look at internal, internal. Games don't make people kill people. Music don't make people kill people. These lot don't know what it's like to actually, ha like to be around gangs and things like that. You know what I'm trying to say? I can tell you stories about gangs in South East London. I can tell you stories about getting to beef with gangs in South East London, racist gangs as well. RA, if you know, you know. If you know about RA in Southeast, then you'll know about uh, racial attackers. A <laughs> racial attack. <laughs> Imagine a whole gang of people who are actually on job, who hate, who are racist. <laughs> it makes sense why some people be like, oh, it must be drill music, because I don't know, they, 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 they talk about gangs and things like that, and these kids are listening to that, okay? That's an easy answer, that's an easy way out. Stop scapegoating music, stop scapegoating a traditional black music, stop scapegoating it. Before, like I said, before drill, it was um, gangster rap. They were saying it was Geeks' fault that people were stabbings. Stabbings and shootings have been happening. Been happening. What, do you want them to start singing about it instead of like rapping about it? And then it's a lot easier. Ooh, um, yes, I just shot my up. Yes, I just stabbed him in the neck. Does, that, does it sound better then? If it's just singing, no, it's dumb. This is shooting and stabbing has been happening. So let's just actually get to the root of the issue. But ultimately, this this case is shocking because this doesn't usually happen to kids like this. This girl is this girl is absolutely trash. And she needs to be done for. She needs to be completely done. The lack of remorse is 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 sad. And you know what's gonna happen though? These kids, because they're under eighteen, they're not gonna get a long sentence. You know, I can't see these lot getting more than twenty years. I th I think I think seventeen years. These lot these all get between. These that will get between 10 and 17 years. 
they'll be out before 30. They should get 25 to life, for example, but they won't. So, yeah. But either way, rest in peace, Ollie. No one deserves to go like that. I'm glad to be back. It's my first video back. It's a shame that it's a sad one. But, we, you know, we go again. And, uh, yeah, man. I look forward to making my next video. I hope you lot are well. Stay safe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to be notified and hit the thumbs up. Peace.